Have you ever been angry with someone and then while you're in the middle of being angry with that person, you start to remember all the other times they made you angry? Well, there's a psych term for that and that's what we're gonna talk about today. What's up, all stars? Welcome to the School of Ireland. Today, we're gonna look at three different types of memories that show up all the time on the AP test, and they are mood congruent, context dependent, and state dependent memories. And it's really important that you pay close attention today because students mix up these terms all the time. At the beginning of the video, I asked, have you ever been angry with someone and then suddenly remembered all the other times they made you angry? Well, this is what psychologists call a mood congruent memory, which is where we tend to retrieve memories that correspond with the mood that we are in. For example, let's say your parents won't let you stay out late and this makes you really upset. And then a month or two goes by and you get upset for an entirely different reason. Maybe someone cut you off on the road or maybe someone's just being a jerk to you. And then in this upset state, you start to recall the time your parents wouldn't let you stay out late. Well, that's a mood congruent memory. Now, this is only a thought, but I wonder if mood congruent memories are the reasons why couples always bring up all the old stuff their partners did to tick them off when they argue, even though these past things have nothing to do with why the current argument broke out in the first place. You know how it goes. It starts off over some stupid thing like one person getting upset with how the toilet paper is put on the dispenser in the bathroom. And while they're busy arguing about that, one person starts to bring up all the other stuff that upset them in the past. You chew your food too loud. Well, you don't fold the laundry the right way. You watch the next episode of the Netflix show without me? Well, you stack the cups in the wrong place in the dishwasher. Now, I really don't know if mood congruent memories are the reason why couples bring up all the past stuff that upset them in their relationship, but it's just a funny thought. Let's move on. The next type of memory that we're gonna talk about is a context dependent memory, which is where we retrieve memories that correspond with the physical setting or the context that we are in. For example, let's say you had your first kiss at the homecoming dance in your high school gym, the gym being the place or the context in which that memory was encoded. And then at your 10 year high school reunion, you walk back into the gym and the physical setting helps trigger the recall of that original memory. That's a context dependent memory. Now you should note, just because you formed a memory in a specific location, it doesn't mean that when you visit that location again, even if you visit that place a million times after the original memory was formed, it doesn't mean that that location will trigger the original memory. I mean, you could remember that moment while you're in your 50s sitting on your couch at home, but in this case, it wouldn't be a context dependent memory because that memory wasn't triggered by the physical setting. The last type of memory that we're gonna talk about today is a state dependent memory, which is where we tend to retrieve memories that correspond with the same physiological state of consciousness, such as wide awake, asleep, drunk, or high, as when the memory was originally formed. Here's an example. Let's say that heaven forbid, one night you're watching TV on the couch and you're really tired. You're about to fall asleep when suddenly the fire alarm goes off and you have to run out of that house because it's on fire. Don't worry, everybody gets out okay. Well, let's say that years later you're reading a book in bed and you're really tired. You're about to fall asleep when you're startled awake by the memory of the house fire. This would be a state dependent memory because the memory was originally formed while you were in a drowsy state and then you later recalled it down the line while you were also in a drowsy state. Now, I wanna emphasize, just because you formed a memory in a specific physiological state of mind, it doesn't necessarily mean you will be able to recall it in the same state of mind at some point in the future. However, if you do recall it in the same state of mind, then you have a state dependent memory. I also wanna mention that, and this also applies to context dependent and mood congruent memories, the memory might be triggered the next time you're in that same state of mind, context, or mood, or the hundredth time you're in the same state of mind, context, or mood. There's no specific parameter for when that memory will be retrieved, if at all, due to the state, context, or mood that you're in. Well, that's it, all stars. Have you ever experienced one of these types of memories? If so, share it in the comments below. Make sure you also hit like and subscribe so that you can dominate your psych class. I'll see you next time. Have a great day.